historic Lambeau Field will play host to the great matchup between Chicago and Green Bay. Now we'll head over to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the start of the game. Guys? It looks like it'll be mild and cloudy for the game. Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth getting set for the call. We've got two rival teams looking to go at it, Chris. We've really seen some good matchups so far, and I think this one's going to be just as good. Both these coaches prepare their teams so well from week to week. And we'll see how their offense has prepared for this matchup as they come onto the field for the first time. The Packers line up in an I formation. They go with the run. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. Grant picks up two yards with the carry. They line up at the 30. Offset I formation in the backfield. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle at the 34. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Third down, four yards to go here. Ball on their own 34. They line up in a one-back set. Drops back. Strong throw. We're probably looking at a punting situation right here. Hester will be the return man. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. Hester takes it at the 23. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Benson takes the handoff. He's brought down at the 30. Gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. Second and three coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. They line up in a one-back set. Here we go. Right 20. Right 20. Benson gets the carry. He gets out to about the 32-yard line and a pickup of about two, and so it'll be third down. Grossman lines up under center. Offense lines up in an eye. He wasn't set when he threw, and they get him at the 38. He makes the catch, and Chris, that'll move the chain. And they're doing it with short ball control type passes. This is the type of offense that really frustrates a defense. Benson on the run. He's dropped at the 42. Benson gains about four yards on the play. They line up at the 42. Lining up with three wide. Benson gets another carry. He's tackled around the 50-yard line. He got free and was able to pick up decent yardage on the play. In the NFL, if you can run the ball for seven yards and a first down, it just puts so much pressure on the defense because now they have to play the run and they have to play the pass. Looked like someone might have jumped. What is it? I got you. I got you. Don't worry about Full start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. That's just sloppy play there. You have to be able to concentrate in these situations. You're just giving away yardage. Drops back. Here's the throw. Makes the grab. Brought down at the 45. Good job locating the gap in the coverage on that play. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. They go with the toss. And they get him right around the 44-yard line. Less than a yard. That'll bring up third down. Third down now, five to go. 
And this is the eighth play of the drive. Back to pass with the pass. Completed. He's dropped at the 29-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. They'll throw on first down. Throws to his right. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Looking to throw. Short throw to the right. Tackled at the three, and simply a great throw there. Yeah, that really was a nice touch that time. Perfect uh, sort of combination of velocity and touch. A very catchable ball thrown by this quarterback so that you don't have to overly focus on what you're doing, and you can get your eyes back down the field, try and get a good run after the catch. They'll score, touchdown! That was an almost perfect run in that type of situation. No need to give it to a fullback down here on the goal line with this team when they've got a halfback that can cram it in there like that. Extra point is good. Chicago up seven points. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick from the five-yard line. Hit and dropped at the 27-yard line. They could do nothing against this defense on their previous drive. First and 10, ball on the 27. The Packers have three backs in the backfield. Little handoff. And they get him around the 28-yard line. Grant only gets about a yard there on the halfback counter. We played a quarter. The score is 7 nothing. From their own 28-yard line. Rodgers is back in the gun. Blue 45! Blue 45! Grant gets the call again. Brought down at the 34. That play goes for about six, and that makes it third down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. They're going to pitch it. He didn't get back to the line. That was a poor series for this offense. Yeah, the defense barely had to even break a sweat on that one. Defensively, when you can take an offense and get them off the field in three plays, that's pretty good stuff. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Hester takes it at the 25. He's dropped at the 35. What happened to the coverage there, Chris? Oh, come on. They completely lost containment on that guy. I mean, you just can't let that happen. I'll be honest. They were really lucky they didn't give up a touchdown on that one. The Bears put a man in motion to the left. Back to pass. Defense is getting pressure. Drops the easy pick. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. They line up at the 35. Chicago comes out with an I formation. Grossman drops to throw. And he caught it, and they get him at the 47-yard line. They pick up some positive yards that time. There's only a handful of quarterbacks in the league that would even dare that throw. Big, strong-arm guy got it in. That was a tough throw. 
They'll throw on first down. Throws out to the left. It's broken up. Hester was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. The Bears line up in an I formation. Setting up play action. Almost picked. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. The Bears come out with four wide receivers. The quarterback in the shotgun. Wait 20. Wait 20. He drops back. Looking for a receiver. There for the reception. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. They're going to pitch it. Drop behind the line. That started off poorly and only got worse. And you can see the running back there just saying, where are my guys? Where's my blocking? What's going on out here? Just need a little help from your friends. Here we go. Play 20. Play 20. Back to pass. Throws on the run. This pass is incomplete. Hester was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Grossman is in the gun. Four wide formation. Wait 20. Wait 20. Grossman calls for Kick motion left. Kick 300. He's looking to throw. He's running out of time. Sacked on the play. And chalk one up for the defense on that play. The best time to blitz is when the other team is trying to work the ball down the field. Your quarterback's going to have to hold the ball a few seconds. Not enough time there. You can't try and go down the field consistently against this defense. They're going to come get you. Gets it away cleanly. From the 50, he's dropped around the 20-yard line. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. Chicago brings in the nickel here. Lead is the man in motion. Fakes to the back. He passes middle. Pass completed. Brought down at the 38. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. He drops back. He throws it. And it's caught. He got deep pleated. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Rodgers looking to pass. Throws to his left. Basher bats it away, and the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. The Packers come out in the single back formation, three receivers wide. Back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Bad luck as he drops it. Jones was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Third down now, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. They line up in the quarter defense looking for the pass. Set. Blue 45. Blue 45. Drops back to pass. The rush gets there, and he goes down. And the blitz worked to perfection on that one. Yeah, you could say that. They just did a terrible job picking up the blitz there. And now as a defense... If you see an offense that's really struggling trying to pick up the blitz, what happens? You send it more and more and more. If they don't stop the blitz, it is going to be a long afternoon. They down it at the five. 
Not much the return man can do there. Yeah, he really did the right thing there. That's just to let it go, get out of the way, and really just give the guy credit. It was a good kick, very fortunate bounce. The last thing in the world you want to do in that kind of a situation is to fumble the football, give it up, short field for the other team, and a quick score. Throws it short, and he catches it. He's brought down at the five-yard line. That play-action pass didn't fool anybody. So they'll face a second and ten. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. They'll give it off here. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Three yards there. Tom, that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. Grossman gives it up the middle. And he's deep cleated at the nine. Got a couple, but will still be short of the marker. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time, this defensive line did exactly that. And that return should set this offense up nicely. He did a good job there, finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. He looks to throw on first down. Goes through his read. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. Drops back to pass. Looks down the field. Guns it out. Hillman gets the interception. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. Drops back on first down. Throws it short. Batted away. Davis was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Benson is the single setback. Back to throw. Passes to his left with the catch. He's going to be tackled for a loss, and they'll lose a yard on the play. That play was really all about defensive pursuit. They saw the ball thrown. They got there quickly for a loss on the play. Here we go. Drops back. The pass is away. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. And we've come to halftime here. The score is 7-0. He gets his leg into this one. Hester fields it at the two. And he's drilled. What a hit. They turned it over on downs their last time out. They'll take over at the 31. Grossman steps to the line of scrimmage. Offense lines up in an eye. Benson on the give. And he will lose yardage on the play. Looked for a seam, but he wasn't able to find anything. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Grossman lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Back to pass. Looks for a man open. Comes down with it. Tackle right around the 34-yard line. Pick up a five on the play. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the 35. The Bears come out showing three wide.
Looks to pass. Throws short. And it's completed. Six-yard gain through the air on that play. Man-to-man -man coverage on that play, so they go to the out route as the defensive back was playing it pretty cautiously there against a deep throw. Good pitch and catch. Punts it. It'll go out at the 38-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Little handoff. He gets to about the 47-yard line. The offensive line really got a good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Green Bay comes out with an I formation. Rodgers calls for motion left. Rodgers drops to throw. Strong throw to his left. Tipped away. Driver was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. The Packers line up with an offset eye backfield. Play action. Throws out left. Brings this one in. He's brought down at about the 29-yard line. That was a big-time play by the receivers. And talking to this receiver earlier this week, he told me he had a lot of plays in the playbook, and he thought he was going to have a big day. Drops back. He throws right. Brings it in. Huge hit. A good amount of yards that time on the pass. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. Brought down at the 13. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second down. They line up in an eye. Grant gets the call. And they get him at the 13. I'd say he got one or two feet on that front. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. He's looking to throw. Throws wild on the run. They finally get him, and it looked like he would score, but instead they'll set it up with first and goal. They're crowding the line. Strong throw to his right. Brought down behind the line. They lose four on that one. You got to give the defense a lot of credit on that one. They made a little correction at the line of scrimmage, and they had that play pegged right from the start. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Hands it off. Makes a move, and he's in. Touchdown. Great play call, and they get the score. Yeah, I really think you hit on the key there. It may have caught the defense a little off guard when you get in that four to seven kind of area down on the goal line. Typically, you're thinking pass. The extra point to tie this game up. Set down, the kick is up, and the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Kicks it off. And he's drilled. What a hit. They had to put it away on their previous drive. Nickelback is in on this play. 
Give to the tailback. He's dropped about the 25-yard line. So a pickup of maybe three, and that will bring up second down. They line up at the 26. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Drops back to pass. He's under pressure. It's completed. Tackle at the 48-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. From their own 48-yard line. Single back formation, three wide receivers. Here we go. Wait 20. Wait 20. Kick 300. Kick 300. Second. Back to throw. Rifles it out there. Catch is made. Brought down at the 33 yard line. And that one will go for a first. And really top notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. From the 33-yard line, the Packers bring in the nickel package. Wait 20. Wait 20. Aspen. Grossman looking to throw on first down. And he can't hang on to it. Booker was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. They line up at the 33. Chicago comes out with three receivers in a single back formation. Play 20. Play 20. Kick 300. Fakes to the back. He throws on the run. And the pass falls incomplete. Hester was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on the 33. The Bears come out in a single back formation. Play 20. Play 20. Looking to throw. Defense is getting pressure. Grossman fumbles. The running back grabs it. You know the defense is upset at that missed opportunity. Turnovers can definitely turn the football game around, and that defense had a chance that time to make a big play. Gets the punt away. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 11-yard line. The offense is looking to build off the momentum from their previous drive, which resulted in a touchdown. Zebra, zebra. They'll give it off here, and they get him at the 12. They picked up a yard. Little linebacker blitzed on that one, and you could see that the quarterback just didn't see it in time to audible out of that play, and let's give credit to the defense. They won that battle. Gives it off. Tackle at the 14. Grant gains about a yard on the play. It's third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 14. The Packers come out with the offset eye. Blue 45! Blue 45! Jackson gets the call. He's tackled at the 16. Got a couple, but will still be short of the mark. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. Ryan punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Hester feels it at the 38. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. Yeah, that certainly wasn't one of his best efforts there. Maybe if he would have gotten a little more help from his blockers, he could have broken one out of there. You know, sometimes it just takes one good block to create a scene to get one up the field. Here's the give. 
and they get him at the 45. Four, maybe five yards on the run. Second down and five to go. Ball on their own 45. The Bears come out in a single back formation. Another run. Hit and drop behind the line. The defensive line sniffed that play out beautifully. Yeah, and defensive linemen aren't the big fat guys that they used to be. These guys are athletes. They can move, and if you don't fool them on the delay, they're going to be standing right there in the face of the running back. And the whistle will blow this one dead. Here's the call. Full start offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. You know, third down football third is hard down. enough in the National Football League, but when you start adding yardage onto it, it gets even tougher. Back to pass. Scans the field. Big beat interception. He's dropped around the 41-yard line. So they give up the big interception. Now they have to buckle down on defense and stop them from scoring. Whoa, this game feels a little differently now, doesn't it? All of a sudden, the momentum has completely shifted to the other side of the ball. Let's see what they can do with it now. Little handoff. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 42. Big set this time with two tight ends. Green Bay sends a man in motion. We have two minutes left to play in this game. We've got second and nine here. Ball on the 42. Rodgers hands it off. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Does running the ball here make any sense? Only if the running back has a big incentive clause in his contract. I'm sure, I'm sure he's happy about it, but uh, mom and dad at home, those fans probably aren't. Goes through his read. He's there for the catch. Tackle at the 41-yard line. And on third down, this offense finds a way to move the chain. And now offensively, you're really in control of the situation because here, not only do you want to score, but you want to milk that clock. Don't let that other offense have a chance to come back and score against you. Back to pass. Looking for a receiver. And it's tipped away. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. They go with the run. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. They'll hurry back to the line. Seven defensive backs in on this one. The Packers just took their first time out. Third and nine coming up. We're down to just a minute in this game. Rodgers will look to throw. Dumps it out right. And he made a great open field tackle. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. The set down. The kick is up. It's got the distance. He just showed off his incredible leg strength there. What a kick. Wow. Can you believe he made that one? <laughs> That's my expert analysis there. Wow. And here's the kick. Drill at the 31. This is it. Do or die time. A field goal will tie it. A touchdown will win it. Yeah, but the clock is a big factor right now. I always say go for the touchdown, go for the win. But first things first, you have to get in position for that tying field goal. Kick 300. Kick 300. They'll throw on first down. Looking for an open man. Can't stay in bounds. Incomplete pass. He caught that one out of bounds. Well, you could see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just let him out of bounds. Drops back to pass. On the run, he throws it. 
He took a shot at the 47-yard line. Great time for that type of pass. It worked to perfection. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Throws a bullet. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on. Bennett was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Grossman comes to the line with three wide. Back to throw. Looks for a man open. Sack. And that was a great blitz by the linebacker on that play. He just read that play perfectly. Was able to come free and get the quarterback. We're starting to see this more and more in the league now where guys fake like they're going into coverage, then come in for the sack. Looks to pass. Short throw to the right. Clark was the intended receiver on the play, and it falls incomplete. Fourth down. And they'll keep the offense out there on fourth down. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if someone can bring it down and win the game. He drops back to pass. Gets the pass off. There for the catch. That tackle just sealed the deal. And this was a good one. Our final score is the Packers 10, the Bears 7.